A very warm welcome to the IWF Inside Athletics. My name is Kaisa Bergquist and I had the great honor to be here with the wonder child from Ethiopia, 800 meter runner Mohamed Aman. Welcome. Don't want to wait. Nothing You're good. only 22 years old yeah. and uh, you won the world championships two times indoors, one time outdoors and several of the Diamond League meetings. Have you had any time to digest all the success you had already? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good success. To, it was a good beginning, but I'm not satisfied yet because uh, I'm supposed to be run faster, and uh, I wish. And also, there is also a big race, Olympic race. But uh, by this point, I'm happy. From what I understand, it's not always been uh, athletics for you. You had a bit interest interest in football when you were younger. Yeah, when I'm young, I like uh, football because. Uh, in, uh, in our hometown, there is a field to play uh, football, so I go there and I uh, play some football uh, with my friends. Did you see yourself being a professional uh, football player from uh, the future? In, in the future, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, when I'm a kid, like I, I want to play like in a big team. Mm -hmm. But uh, in Ethiopia, there is fam athletics famous, so I moved there. <laughs> <laughs> so w what happened? When did you realize that you were a runner? Actually, my father went to be a runner so but i like like i play football so one day he called me just choose hey, if you wanna play football just go football but uh, don't like mix it mm. so i prefer the athlete being an 800 meter runner it's quite unusual with uh, runners from ethiopia normally run much uh, further distances yeah right uh it's it's challenging you know uh, as you say it's uh Ethiopians long distance runners, like especially marathon and uh, 10k. Mm -hmm. So when I'm come to here, I just uh, people say me, this guy is joking, <laughs> because uh, no one's run 800 in, uh, before. So you have to you have to be strong and uh, so your talents for them. It's become hard. Mm -hmm. Just I wanna when I'm a kid, uh, there is a project I moved to there. So we train like from 100 to 15. So actually I ran that time. Uh, one one hundred, so I have a speed, mm -hmm. so that's why I move to like short the distance. With all your success now, now I guess you you mm. realized everyone in Ethiopia has also realized that you yeah, should now, run. Yeah, now now people's accepted because uh, I run uh, like I'm world champion two, two times indoor, like two times diamond race. I like I run fast. People now, even the young, like the young comers, want to run middle distance. So I'm so happy. Your first uh, really big uh, international championship was uh, the indoor world championships. Uh, and you won it twice already. Yeah. Why does it suit you very well to run indoors compared to a runner like Rhodesia, for example? Uh, actually, I, run, I like to run uh, the indoor because uh, it's, uh, it's uh, so short and so like small track. Uh, you run like so fast. And also, I don't know, maybe my talents in Indo <laughs> rather than the, the outdoor one. This is an Olympic year. You got uh, Olympic experience already four years ago. You were done 18 and ran your first Olympic final. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, it's an interesting race because for all like track and field at that time, it's, uh, I'm 18, but we ran so fast. Even I ran my personal base when uh, Brunisha has break the records. So I'm national record national, as well. yeah national mm -hmm. record. So I'm very happy to be in there to run uh, with a good uh, like talented athlete. And London is for me it's a big experience and uh, I'm 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 so happy to be there. Afterwards, you, you came in sixth place. Were you you couldn't be disappointed, right? After national record and being in that final, or did you feel that you could? Yeah, to be to be honest, I'm so disappointed because I go there for uh, to be a medal, mm -hmm. especially to bring the gold for my country, because I train good, I'm in good shape. Uh, sometimes, you know, sports, uh, especially athletics, you don't have, just you don't get what you want mm -hmm. sometimes. So I'm so disappointed that time, uh, and uh, I'm number six. I run national record, but <laughs> I go to for not national record, I go to for gold. Yeah, yeah it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you had a absolutely amazing years. I mean, you done so well. But then, uh, 2015, last year, you decided to move from Ethiopia and move to the United States. Uh, how, d how did you come to that decision? Uh, actually, I want to like, uh, 
see new things because uh, uh, most of the time in Ethiopia, like, uh, we train uh, good because I'm very champion when I'm in Ethiopia, but I want to see, like, what's another world doing, like, because this is tough, 800. So just I moved to Eugene for a uh, coach, uh, Romark is a good coach. And also I want to see, like, uh, just to learn new things. Mm. So it was a good move. Uh, Eugene is uh, it's good for me. Just I, I learned uh, many things. What of new things have you learned? Just f about like, uh, especially for training, uh, some uh, weight workouts, uh, just and uh, living, even living style. So it was good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very special year, of course. It's an uh, Olympic year. Did you feel that it's uh, different or do you just prepare in the same way that you always do? No, it's, uh, it's Olympic year is a big uh, year because it's my, just my dream, just I want to train good preparation, everything like mentally, physically, and everything like so, psychologically also. So it's it's, it's different. It's like yeah, it's different here. So I want to prepare for by, by everything to be a champion in Olympics. What what would it mean to you to to win that Olympic gold? Ah, uh, that's my dreams come true because uh, I'm in world cha I'm I'm champion in world championship. So the was in the track field, it's, you become Olympic champion and uh, world champion, they become a record holder. That's, so I, I do one, I have at least two. Mm -hmm. So this year is, I think, uh, if Allah say, I'm gonna be a champ Olympic champion. Only 22, if you won the, the world champs and the Olympics, wh 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 where do you go next? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I'll you retire and then just <laughs> hang out or? <laughs> no, just, um, this is, uh, no, you become like, you have a double Olympic, you know, like, Double World Championship because I am uh, I have long Korea mm -hmm. and also I want to change my field to be key like multiple you know 815 so we see. Do you think it's possible to run under 140 at 800? Uh, yeah, because uh, one f the, the Rodisha ran 140 uh, and also he ran uh, with us. We mm -hmm. saw him. Yeah. So if you believe yourself and think it's impossible for me. Mm. Well, how fast do you think you can run in the perfect conditions, perfect race? Could you be the one going under? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish. I just I want to train for uh, yeah. to be faster. Uh, you competed a lot the last couple of years at the Diamond League circuit. Yeah. Would you do the same thing this year? Uh, yeah, because uh, I like to race because I want to be like sharp every time. Just uh, I don't want to one race in the yo this Olympic year. I want to quiet and uh, I want to race like maybe four or five in diamond races and uh, to prepare for Olympic because I want to see where am I every like meetings. If you do well at the Olympics, yeah. how would you treat yourself or reward <laughs> yourself? I want to you? go um, my families with my mom because uh, my family is for me is like everything because they support me. They didn't, when I ran even they didn't sleep. So that's, that's like if I want to Olympic champion, just I want to take the medal and bring to my mom in the, to give for her. Very good luck to you this season. And uh, thank you for watching. It's been a great having uh, Mohammed Aman here with us. And uh, see you next time.